This afternoon, a man accused of abusing a one-month-old child will appear in court. Fayette County school leaders say hunger is a serious problem in our schools. We'll show you how a new food pantry program is tackling the problem. Big temperature swings coming up over the next couple of days as a major spring storm blows through the bluegrass state. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon, Sam Dick and Jennifer Palumbo reporting. A Lexington man accused of abusing a child face a judge this afternoon. Matthew Byers is charged with criminal abuse. Police say a one-month-old girl suffered broken bones while he was supposed to be taking care of her. WKYT's Jordan Valines has the latest on the investigation. It's our top story at 430. He was supposed to be taking care of a one-month-old child, but instead investigators say the 26-year-old Matthew Byers intentionally hurt the little girl, and today he showed up here in court to face those charges. The arrest warrant for Matthew Byers states that the alleged incident took place on December 17th when we're told the child's mother, Maria Witt, says she went to bed earlier than Byers and left her daughter in his care. The next morning, word noticed her child was in substantial pain when her leg was moved and that she was swaddled unusually tighter than normal with her legs pushed up towards her chest. When work confronted Byers, he allegedly said that he'd heard a popping sound from the baby's hip as he changed her diaper the night before and claimed he'd heard the noise several other times. But the child's pediatrician dismissed that claim. Neighbors living near the couple didn't wish to appear on camera, but they say they were shocked by the allegations of abuse. The best case scenario is that it was an accident and the baby's going to be okay. Hear what the family of the little girl has to say coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. In Lexington, Jordan Valines, WKYT. Jordan went to the home where the alleged incident occurred, but the woman inside did not want to comment. We continue a wild weather week here in the bluegrass today. It's a roller coaster, yes. isn't it? Big changes coming with huge temperature swings the next few days. Also, some chances of rain. That'll be increasing. Let's check in now with our chief meteorologist, Chris Bailey. He's tracking the changes on the first alert defender. Chris, just hang on, right? Yeah, hang on for the ride. Buckle up. Make sure your tra uh, trays are in an upright position and the seat belt is fastened. That ride ready to take off right now. Look over my shoulder. Look at the colors out there. Uh, low 40s in northern Kentucky, 70 degrees or better into the southern part of the area. That is a warm front that is draped throughout southern parts of Richmond. So from Richmond down toward Berea and certainly into Rockcastle and Jackson counties, those temperatures start to take off. And by the time you hit London, it is 70 degrees. Yet on the northern side of that boundary, that's where we're focusing on with more of the showers than what folks across southern Kentucky are seeing. So one round is across the area now. Back into western Kentucky, southern parts of Illinois, Next round is gearing up, and it is working eastbound along Interstate 64. A live first alert defender really honing in on those gusty showers that continue to make their way through the area. West Liberty, Moorhead, Owingsville, Frenchburg, over towards Stanton, and Clay City into Powell County getting in on some of the soggy conditions. Winchester coming down at a pretty good clip, though. Lexington getting ready now to see some of the heavier, steadier rains. Go away for a little bit. Give it another half hour, Winchester. You'll start to see improving conditions at least a little bit. Still going to be damp out there, obviously, but the heavier rains will continue to scoot on out of the area. Scattered showers around tonight, tracking that strong cold front that we've been advertising for a while coming up for the end of the week. That, guys, ahead of it, it's going to have spring. Behind it, a little taste of wintertime showing up in your seven day forecast. We'll run it down for you on what all to expect coming up here in less than 10 minutes. The search continues this afternoon for two men who robbed a Lexington gas station overnight. It happened around 2.30 this morning at the Circle K on Pimlico Parkway. Police say the robbers wore hoodies and masks and implied they had a weapon. They got away with cash and cigarettes. The men were seen leaving in a silver neon. A Lexington school now has a place where students in need can go for help. This morning, Bryan Station High School opened the first school food pantry in Fayette County. WKYT's Mark Barber shows us how it will help fight hunger in the community. The new school pantry program here at Bryan Station High School is providing free food to students in need. So during weekends and evenings, those students can focus on their homework, not their hunger.
At Bryan Station, school officials say 66% of students receive free or reduced price school meals. God's Pantry Food Bank tells us they are opening their first school pantry in Fayette County here because many of these students go hungry at home. It helps students because they don't have to worry about like how much they need food. It helps them worry, concentrate more on school. The pantry is serving up to 30 students a week. The school is helping students pick what they need from shelves that are stocked with eggs, bread, milk, and vegetables. Each student receives about 30 pounds of food for themselves and their brothers or sisters. We provide that transportation for the food to be delivered home, but um, what we're hoping to do is to meet with the family and actually have them come in so we can, we can determine and look at whether there are more needs um, than just the food needs that they have at that time. The food bank says it costs $13,000 a semester to operate the pantry. They say those costs are covered with help from sponsors. They tell me they would like to expand the pantry to other schools in the future, but they say to do so they will need additional sponsors. In Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Bryan Station isn't the only high school that could benefit from this program. Four other Fayette County high schools have more than half of their students on free or reduced price school meals. A traffic alert if you drive south of Lexington on Interstate 75. A major road construction project could slow you down for months. State pr transportation workers are resurfacing a stretch of I-75 in Madison County between the Clays Ferry Bridge and mile marker 83 south of Richmond. The left southbound lane will be closed until further notice. The project will continue into the summer months. Eastern Kentucky is no stranger to the national spotlight and not always for the best reasons. but. That all changes this week. National Public Radio is in hazard, showcasing musicians for their program from the top. Students from Johnson Central, Not Central, and Letcher Central are playing alongside NPR's traveling musicians. From the top's education director says not only do the students get to perform in front of a large crowd, but they also get to share their stories. Angelina Jolie takes another step to reduce her risk of getting cancer. We'll have details ahead on WKYT News at 430.